15. The scatter plot diagram above shows the profits of a startup company during its first year of business. If the company's profits continue to grow, that seems to be the right because the line is going upwards at the same rate as predicted by the line of best fit. Very good. Which has been drawn? Which of the following will be the closest to the company's monthly profit after it has been in a year for year and half? So year and half means how many months? How many months year and half means? 18 months, right? But in the graphs, how many months of data we are given? Only 12 months. That means we have to predict the future when x equals to 18, correct? So we need to come up with the equation of a line and then substitute x equals to 8, figure out the corresponding y. Not a big deal. So whenever you have a scatter plot like this, all of you pay attention to this is a common SAT type of question where you are given a scatter plot and you are expected to come up with the equation of a line. Okay. So how do you, of course, the line would be, you know, this is the format you would definitely want to create that line. Okay. Y equals mx plus b. So we need two components, m and the b. What is the M formula? What is the slope formula? For two, in order to figure out the slope, you need at least two coordinates, correct? What is the slope formula? Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So we need to figure out the very first point that the line is passing through and the second point that the line is passing through. Pick the point that the line is passing through, not the point that are adjacent to the line. Got it? But when you draw the line here, here, in this case, the author has already drew the line of best fit. Okay? How do you draw the line of best fit? You draw the line such that it's closer to majority of the points. Okay? So what is the first coordinate point? I can say uh, that's a 3. 3 comma 10, can I say that? x1, y1. Can I say x1, y1 is 3 comma 10? Okay, how about the next point term? 9 comma 40? Am I reasonably okay? 9 comma 40, right? So substitute. What is y2 minus y1? 40 minus 10, 30. What is x2 minus x1? What is 19, 9 minus 3? What is 30 over 6? Cool. So what is my equation? y is equals to 5x plus b. So what is the one more thing we still have to figure out? The b value. In order to figure out the b value, we can substitute any of these points for x and y. We can figure out the b value. Any point. So substitute the first point. What is your x value? Sorry, y value? 10. Ten. And the, what is your x value? 3. So 10 is equals to 15 plus b. And then b is equals to negative 5. Cool. We have an equation. y is equals to 5x minus 5. That is how you can figure out the equation of a line consistently every time. Has everybody understood the process of month? Pick the two points that the line is passing through, figure out the slope, and then figure out the y-intercept. Once you have a line, you can pretty much use it for prediction. He is asking, what is the y-value, which means the company profit, when x is how many months? 18 months. So what is what is 18 times 5? What is 90 minus 5? 85. So do I have 85 as a choice? Yes. 85,000. Oh, here this guy, he says the y-coordinate is in thousands of dollars. You see that? 
even though you get 85, that is in thousands. So 85,000s. 